Either God here coming to you live and direct with another video. And in this video, I just wanted to make this short. It was just an idea that I came up with, right? Um, This is a movie um, because I was having a conversation about technology, right? And I remember seeing this movie called Smart House. This is a, a 1999 film um, that I remember watching as a kid. Right, and now that I now that I've grown up and now I'm living through, you know, uh quote unquote better technology or whatever. <laughs> now it's all adding up. Like this movie was mainly about um this house that was uh like AI control and they even said it in the movie. Uh I said I was gonna rewatch it, but you know, I probably will, but I'm just sharing this with people, you know. Cause this is like surface level um knowledge or whatever you want to call it, but yeah, um I want to show y'all a clip too from the movie actually, but I'm not gonna have the sound because you know due to copyright, so I just want y'all to see the image or the um situation here. Check this out. See. This is a scene in the movie, Smart House. Now it's all making sense. This was 1999, right? And I was born in 94. You know, they got to use the three colors. They all be using the main colors. So basically, AI is, is um, projecting itself into her, a woman. See what I'm saying? So she is the AI that's controlling the crib. The house, the smart house. See? And this, what, what she's doing to me represents AI wanting to be human. She finally in flesh form. See what I'm saying? You know, at least that's my perception of it. So, yeah. Um, and she also looked like that progressive lady, in my opinion, <laughs> on that commercial. That progressive so yeah, and then uh, another thing I wanted to um, add on to that, like Siri, Siri is an, a female AI that uh, a, a virtual assistant, as y'all can see, you know. And then you got Echo, which is another AI um, advanced tool that they have us using, you know, Echo. And then you got Alexa, which is another female. Energy virtual assistance AI technology that they got us using fusing us more with technology Smart house see this is what um Houses are gonna be like it's some houses can actually be controlled from their phones And you know, like I've said in past videos, you know out with the old and with the new So eventually some of these houses are gonna be updated to become smart houses and it's gonna be it's gonna be, gonna become normal and one way that I can think of them doing that is basically tearing down the old. And they and I feel like they're going to be creating all types of scenarios to even do that. Like, example, storms, tornadoes, hurricanes, and stuff. That, In my opinion, that's I feel like that's, that's how they implement new technologies and stuff like that. They have to create storms and stuff like that, manipulate the weather, and, you know, so they can destroy the old... And rebuild, and upon rebuilding, they start implementing all this technology and stuff like that. It's just like the world, right? When the world opens back up, um, I'm sure that these restaurants, I don't even know if these restaurants are open back up. Like, you can go in them. I'm not sure. I don't be going to them like that. But, um, best believe, they're going to be having all types of kiosks in them. You know, look, um, virtual assistants. And stuff like that. This is what they've been leading us to. It's all been strategically planned. And, bro, that's like... <laughs> they really did this shit, bro. Then it's called... It literally called a smart house. Smart house. And as you see at the thumbnail, she looking like... They looking like, yeah, she the great mother. Smart house is the great mother. She, re she represent the AI great mother. <laughs> 
So yeah, I just wanted to share my little perception on that. You know, artificial intelligence is on the rise, and the more we enable it, the more it's gonna become stronger and stronger, and become a part of our everyday life, like it already has, since nobody's stopping it. So yeah, um, with that being said, either God. Signing out. I appreciate y'all for listening. Peace.